How are you doing? I'm good, how are you? I'm good. So, I just thought we could play around a little bit with stringed instruments today. Yeah, yeah, of course. Wanna try some stuff? Uh, sure. Okay, so, it might be a little bit hard to see, but what is this copper string doing? This copper string would be, uh, vibrating. Mm -hmm. And so you can see, is it always vibrating the same? Let's move the glass bottle. No, when you move the glasses, the tension mm -hmm. gets looser or tighter, and it controls whether it's a tighter frequency or a lower frequency, yeah, like vibrating a, faster or mm -hmm. slower. Like a higher pitch or lower pitch? Yeah. You were doing really well with this before. Can you demonstrate how you got that really good sound? Well... Oh, that's nice. I don't know. I mean... Yeah. Yeah, that's really good. So when we've got both jars held kind of tight, we get a nice tight, higher like a, pitch. More of a mm -hmm. high, like a... Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then when we have them a little looser... We go... Oh, low. we don't even get a pitch. There we go. So this cool little device, I really like this because it's a musical instrument, but it's also kind yeah. of a physics experiment. Mm -hmm. yeah. And have you ever played a ukulele? I actually, yes, uh, a few years ago, yeah. I did learn one song on the ukulele. You want to demonstrate? Well, Wait, I you can remember? can't remember the song. If you but... can remember how to strum a ukulele. Yeah, there you go. Mm -hmm. Like, uh... So just like with the diddly bow, what I'm yeah. noticing you doing with the ukulele is when you are manipulating the frets, mm -hmm. you're changing how much you're letting the strings move back and forth. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So the resonation is more or less. Yeah. And then, uh, are there different places on the strings where you get a different sound? Uh, there are. Mm -hmm. I with my guitar, mm -hmm. when you go really low, mm -hmm. pa this doesn't have it, but past here. You might it, have to show. Like, right, this doesn't have it on this one, mm -hmm. but on some some string instruments, there's mm -hmm. like a, strings that go down from here, and there's mm -hmm. this, but then there's no, it kind of, it sounds really high, mm -hmm. because it's really tight, and there's not a lot of places to vibrate. Or right here between the frets and the tuners, mm -hmm. it sounds really high. In yeah, fact, really, the, really high when you like, pluck those strings. Yeah, barely able to. Right. So what we can also show is how somebody could make their own diddly bow at home if they wanted to. It's pretty simple. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Basically, a piece of wood with two nails and uh -huh. then a wire. <laughs> yeah. And. Uh, I'm using two jars, but you could use uh, like two cans yeah, or, or like water bottle. Can you think of anything else you could use? You could use a really thick ruler, like oh yeah, for example, right. I'm gonna bring it into the frame, so we could take a yardstick instead of a piece of wood, and I'm gonna move this out of the frame, and we could mm -hmm. put. Uh, wire mm -hmm. here like this. Right. I don't and know if you can see the wire, but like this, and then pluck it with right. something. Right. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take a couple of nails and a hammer, and we're just gonna nail our nails in, basically like we did into yeah. the process into the piece of wood we're going to do it with this yardstick mm -hmm. try not to be too loud with my hammer and we'll go like that and this is a super 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 easy instrument to make cool cool and the cool thing is if you get good at it you can even tune it which oh, I am not yeah. that good at it yet. It would be, I wonder how you tune something like that. It's going to depend I mean, on, you could use like an uh, well, auto tuner. Huh. 
And then you're okay. gonna need to just figure out where on your wire you are moving your can or your Yeah, like jar. on the edge or the middle. Mm -hmm. So you want like more slack or less slack. Right, exactly. So slack of the wire is gonna depend on your sound. So let's repurpose our jar here. And let's try an experiment and see what happens if we make our jar standing up instead of vertical. Okay, cool. If we were to put like a box on here with a little hole in it, uh -huh. we would kind of be making a basic guitar. Oh, 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 you, we would, wouldn't we? Yeah, like one a one-string string guitar. guitar. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've heard of slide guitars mm -hmm. where they have all the all the strings and they have the fret board but yeah. no frets. Right. So right. you can just like slide constantly mm -hmm. and it's really easy. Exactly, and that's kind of what this is. And where did, oh, here's my hammer. So this is based on kind of a one-stringed instrument that's really ancient. And it comes from West Africa. Oh, cool. And uh, do you ever listen to like blues or? I have, and I've heard that blues comes from, originates from uh, African mm -hmm. African folk songs yeah. with drums mm -hmm. and apparently diddly bows right mm -hmm. here. So it's kind of a traditional stringed instrument and they used to make these for kids. So kind of like your first... Like a toy? Yeah, like a toy. Yeah. Your first kind of stringed instrument. Mm -hmm. So let's see. You want to try it? Uh, yeah. Maybe okay. we should move it into the frame a little bit more. Yeah. Thank you. Whoops. <laughs> so one well, thing, a troubleshooting tip if you want to make your own diddly bow at home is you might have to just play around with your tension uh -huh. or on like the wire. glue in the wire we could or glue, something. Well we could glue our um our jar if we wanted to just kind of keep it in place. Can you kind of wind it around the nail? Um trying to. Uh this wire is a little bit stiff. Yeah. The wire on our other diddly bow was copper and so it was a little softer. But I wanted to try a different wire so that we could maybe see if it made a different sound. Yeah, I wonder if like the different things make it more mm -hmm. like the thickness or the hollow. Yeah, yeah, that was kind of the Something like that. that was kind of the experiment I wanted to try. So you're going to be in like, charge of that one. copper is a conductor, if oh. like, conducting things makes it mm -hmm. more. Now let's see if we get a different sound. Oh. We're getting a different kind of a pitch. With... Seems like you have more of a range with this. With that, mm -hmm. like kind of like low and then slightly higher low. Yeah. And but with this, it seems like you can go like, mm -hmm. like pretty high and then... Mm -hmm. Low. Yeah, so this kind of wire, we get a different kind of a sound. Mm -hmm. And then we got a different kind or, of a sound with actually, the nylon. I could use this. Oh, yeah, we could stand that up too. To All right, let's do this as our last diddly bow experiment for this okay. morning. Okay. Oops. Oh, okay. We're yeah. going to just. Uh, oh, there's the nail that time too. Thank you. Welcome. So some things we can do to try getting different sound are whether your jar is horizontal or vertical, what you use for your string, I'm kind of out of the frame here, sorry, what you use for your string, and the amount of tension that you put on your diddly bow. How's that? Oh, not that much tension, but still we can... Once we put the jar since, in, I think we'll go. Since the jars are vertical, yeah. Less slack means it's able mm -hmm. to have like yeah. old a little jar. bit better tension. Okay, let's see. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, that's a totally different sound. Really low. Maybe that's just because. Let's turn the this around one nailed. more time. Okay. We're gonna turn them one last time, and we're gonna try one last experiment. Oh, and we're gonna two. just make it a little tighter. Okay. So you can kind of just play around with it. You can make it a little bit of a physics experiment and a music experiment. 
And uh, have you ever heard of the musician Bo Diddley? Bo Diddley. Mm -hmm. No. He's kind of a... But I get the sense that yeah. that's where this instrument name came from. Actually, his name came from that instrument. Oh, wait. So he was named after the instrument, or that was like his musician He kind of took his music name from this instrument. Oh, cool. Yeah. So if you practice a while, I think you could get a lot of really good sounds out of this. Yeah, like, a, or maybe even like write a song or mm -hmm. like discover the notes for this. Yeah, absolutely. Because we can actually get different notes out of this. So kind, kind of that like, sounds yeah, like a like bass. Yeah, like with a guitar. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Sounds like a high string on a bass or mm -hmm. something. There you go. So I wonder for, if the uh, resonation of the wood has anything to do with it. That's a really good question too. So if you are wanting to try this at home, you can try different kinds of wood too. Different mm -hmm. wood, yeah. if you use a can instead of a jar, uh, and different kinds of wires. Yeah, so. maybe a can would... Mm -hmm. Might get a different sound. Yeah, vibrate more since yeah. it's metal. Or... It might vibrate on the can too. Well, thanks for uh, playing around with me and the diddly bow today, Linus. Yeah, thank you, Ash. Yeah, of course. And so if anybody at home wants to have some fun with physics and stringed instruments, yeah. uh, you can make your own little diddly bow and mm -hmm. play around. See if I you can get some notes. A uh, piece of wood, some nails, wire, and anything to hold the water up. Yeah, so have fun and stay curious, guys. <laughs>